Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Obviously from the title of this video you can see that we are talking about my empties because I have a lot. So my idea for these sorts of videos is that they're going to be every six months I think um, only because it takes me a while to get through loads of products. I usually have like two or three of everything on the go so it usually does take me a while to get through most things so I'm thinking like every six months ish I'm gonna just save all my products in a big basket like this and just just go through them just go through them all like this so in no particular order I'm just gonna go through this big bin of stuff that I've got going on show it to you say if I liked it or not if you should buy it and then just just get through it. As this is the first one, there's not a lot of products here, um, and that's because one of my New Year's resolutions this year was to get through my samples. And if anyone is like me, and you just have like loads of tiny, tiny little like samples and little body lotions that people give you for like Christmas and stuff, they come in all like the gift packets. I had like a New Year's resolution to just get through all of them. So any of those sorts of packets won't be included in this. Um, I have a few maybe, but not a lot. Um, especially like just sample packages that I had way too many of. Um, they won't be included in this video, but that's why I've not got as many big products in there, if that makes any sense. But yes, in future videos there'll be more products than this, but we're going to talk about the ones I've got here. So the first product that I'm going to pull out is this Qtex Moisture Guard nail polish remover. Now this is my favourite nail polish remover, I don't know why, it's just like the best for my nails, and this is for dry nails. I find that it doesn't dry out my nails like other acetone sort of based nail polish removers, um, so it's just my favourite one, it's about two or three pounds, um, you can get it anywhere, and yeah, I got through one in six months and I've got another one on the go, so... I get through this fast. The next product I've got here, it's kind of a collection of things and it's dry shampoo. Um, this is Batiste, this is my favourite brand of dry shampoo and my favourite one is the Beautiful Brunette dry shampoo. If you've watched, oh god, what video was it? It was my June favourites. You will know that this is my favourite and it has been for many months but particularly, like I said in the other video, between the summer months I just get quite oily in my hair so this has really helped to reduce it so 100% recommend. I then dyed my hair, I think, uh, like the beginning of the year, so I used the shade Darker. To be honest, they're the same sort of thing, but this does give you more of a darker tint, so I got through a can of this. Again, if you watched my June Hits and Misses, you will know that I kind of got through a tube of this, this sort of like Canister XXL Volume Dry Shampoo. I don't really like this, so I'm going to pass this on to a friend. I think I've got like, by the feel of it, I've got like this much left, but I just kind of don't really want to use it, so I'm going to pass this one on, yeah, I don't like it. I also have like a cap for another dry shampoo, I don't know which one it is, it's probably this one because I do get through this really fast, so yeah, I got through like four dry shampoos in six months, which actually I feel like I probably got through more than that, but maybe I didn't keep the canister. The next thing I got through were loads and loads of wipes, um, I got through three packets of the simple micellar ones, these are looking absolutely disgusting, got makeup all over them, uh, these are my favourite wipes in all honesty, they are so soft, they remove my makeup so well, I don't feel like I'm having to drag or like pull my face too much, so highly recommend these, you can get these from the supermarket or the drugstore, wherever you go, uh, and they're only a couple of pounds, so I really recommend these, I really love these, and I will always keep repurchasing unless I find something better. And then on the same topic as wipes, I bought some of the Johnson Baby Wipes. In all honesty, I will not be repurchasing these again. Um, I got the Makeup Be Gone Extra Sensitive for all skin types, and I wasn't too keen on these. And then I got the Moisture Wipes for dry skin. These ones were god awful. They were so oily, they left a film on my face, and these were just like really rough. So. I wouldn't recommend these too much, I found they were too rough on my skin and they just like left this disgusting film all over like my face and I don't like that at all. I got through a big fat bottle of Tresemme Cleanse and Replenish Conditioner. I feel like I got through the same shampoo but I have no idea where that bottle's gone so I apologise. But I had the Cleanse and Replenish Shampoo and Conditioner and I've got through this big tube and it took like a whole month to get through this. It was ridiculous, maybe even more. They, these are huge and beasty but they're really good. On the same topic as shampoo, I got through two of the Garnier Ultimate Blends shampoos. Um, this one is in Mystic, Mythic Olive, and this one is in Delicate Oat, and I think I got through the Honey one as well, but again, I think my mother threw the bottle away, so I think I got through that one as well because, yeah, I definitely got through that one because I used it this year, so I did have that one as well, um, but these are really, really lovely for the hair. They smell divine. I find that they lather up really nicely, they wash my hair nicely, they don't strip my hair of oils, but they 
cleanse the hair of oils if that makes sense so yeah i really love them and they all do different things so this one is for dried out hair i think the honey one was for like dry hair as well i'm not too sure um and this one is delicate oat rice cream and oat milk and this is just really good for the scalp again especially in the summer months when your hair is probably a little bit like burnt from the sun so this is a really good one too i got through two tubes of toothpaste um i buy my own toothpaste in the house so it does take me like two or three months to get through one tube i have got another one going um and this is the oral b 3d white luxe glamorous white and then i just got the 3d white brilliance i think i had a little a little one as well because i went traveling like to my friend in uni and stuff like that so i've got a little one going as well love this toothpaste i find that it really like whitens my teeth without like making them sensitive so highly recommend quite expensive but worth the buy i got through three of my favorite foundations they are looking absolutely manky as hell <laughs> this is the bourgeois mix serum love this one it's so lightweight and it's such like an everyday foundation it's just nice and just like blends out your face really nicely so love this one um, and then i got the healthy mix uh foundation you can actually see like through the glass there that's how much i use this one love this offers some really like i'd say light medium coverage um again a really good everyday foundation and then i got through the bourgeois 123 perfect foundation again just a really nice foundation i find that it, like the pigments in it kind of smooth out and sort of blend my face into one color if that makes any sense so yeah i really love all three of these foundations i've got a million and one backups of them love 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 these foundations so in terms of makeup remover mama got through a lot and the first thing i got through was the simple kind to eyes nourishing makeup remover cream um this was like okay i feel like it did take quite a while to like break it down but this is really good for waterproof mascara because i feel like it kind of gets between the lashes without being too harsh on your eyes so really nice to keep in the cupboard but probably wouldn't repurchase it again just because there's more competitive products out there on the market. I got through two of these simple kind of skin vitamin foaming cleansers. Love these. These are probably one of my favourite foaming cleansers ever. This is like two or three pounds, I think. Um, really nice just to wash your face. I use this in the mornings and after I've washed my face from makeup. It's just like a second, a second cleanse and I really like this stuff recommend it if you're after a foaming cleanser it's really delicate for the skin um, it's got like vitamins in it and moisturizers so it doesn't dry out the skin really love really recommend i also got through a simple kind of eyes makeup remover bottle and this removes waterproof mascara as well i always like to keep one bottle or product of something that removes waterproof mascara um, so i need to kind of find another one or just replace this one because this is really nice and it's just like nice and travel friendly so Normally I'll take a waterproof remover if I'm going travelling because it's just like kills two birds with one stone. So this is a really good one. My standout products, like literally my standout products for the entire year I think are the Garnier Micellar Water and the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Gel Wash. Love these things. Love. Um, I got through about six bottles of these and I th was it six or five? It was like six or five bottles and it was getting to the point where I couldn't actually keep it all in the basket so I had to get rid of all of them and just like keep one to show you but there were five or six of these bottles i get through like one a month um i've currently purchased the bigger size bottle which is 700 ml so it's nearly double the size of this and yeah i just get through it like tap water it's my favorite cleanser i just absolutely freaking love it if you haven't tried it why haven't you tried it that's the question um and i've got through one of these this is fairly new to me i've got one on the go i've got one as backup these are amazing they are also amazing for cleaning brushes and yes okay it might be a bit more expensive to clean your brushes this way but one little pea-sized amount of this with any brush cleans them amazingly it doesn't dry them out i love this stuff this is kind of like the hardier version of this but together they kind of join a force that is inseparable and i love them so so much i love these i love these for some reason i've got a hand and body lotion by rosebud and blossom a bowl full of blossom beautifully fragrant body lotion i must have got through this at the beginning of the year because i can't even remember getting through this it smells quite floral and i think i might keep like the container because it's glass so i might just like strip it from the label and put like a nice colorful hand wash or something in it i'm not sure but might keep the container for this because it's kind of cute. I got through a Lynx Girl Body Attract thing from, I don't know, I got this for Christmas. Um, it smells quite nice. It's just like an easy shower gel just like to use up, if you know what I mean, just easy to grab. So yeah, good one, Lynx. 
everyone likes links. I got through a Boots Cocoa Butter Body Wash. Um, I've got another one on the go, I think it's like the mango one. Uh, these smell really good and they do feel really nice on your skin, really like buttery. So yeah, this is really nice. Sometimes I just use it just like in the bath to make bubbles, so like this one. Again, if you watched my June Hits and Misses, you'll know that I love the Denny Layton um, Miracle Mist for your nail polish. I need to repurchase another one of these. I literally just finished it a couple of weeks ago and I still haven't got around to getting a new one. Um, really love this. It's about £12. I'd recommend it if like you were in the market for it, but I wouldn't say it's an essential, like you don't need it. Um, but if you're like me and you paint your nails a lot and you just want to kind of get it done and go, this is a good one. I really like these, so yeah. It's good if you're in the market for it. Okay, so the next one I feel like kind of saddened me a little bit, like it kind of cut me deep. Um, but I've chosen to get rid of the Barry M Crackle nail polishes. Now, I have got on my wall literally stand of all my Barry M nail polishes. I think I have about 50, maybe more. Hang on, let me count. Yeah, I have about 55, I think, and there's more like dotted around in my vanity. So I have got a lot of Barry M nail polishes and I just don't really use these anymore. They just like remind me of my childhood so much. Do you remember when Crackle nail polisher was like the total in thing and now it kind of just like your nails are really moldy? Um, I was really into nail art like when I was at school and stuff so they, they have some like sentimental value to me but they gotta go. They're getting like gross and crusty so they, they've gotta go but yeah I'm getting rid of all of these. I've got like the pink, the black, the gold, the purple and the white. Adios amigos. I got through a L'Oreal Lumi Magique, um, like kind of like the Touche Claire from YSL. Um, it's like a highlighting pen, amazing for under the eyes and down at like the bridge of the nose. Just general highlighting and brightening of the face. Love this. Go get it if you are in the market for a highlighting pen. Really affordable, I think it's like eight pounds or like eight to 10 pounds. Really nice. And then I've also got through one of the Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser Eye concealer things. Um, everyone and their mum has this, I think, but for good reason. It's really good. I love it. Really high coverage. Go get it if you haven't had it already. I got through a pair of um, Demi Wispies by Ardell. They are looking so freaking ratchet at the moment. They are looking, ugh, they're looking gross. Um, they're kind of falling apart, but I don't know if you can actually see that. They're looking like a little dead spider. Um, I wore these about 10 times before I decided that they were no more. I put them on my eyes and I was like, oh girl, that's that's not looking good. So yeah, I got through a pair of these. Um, I know that's like a weird one to get through, like eyelashes, but I feel like if you look after your eyelashes, you can rewear them like a good five times, like for a good pair. Um, yeah, I got through these like eight or 10 times. So I like these and I've already repurchased some because they're really nice. I don't know where the lid to this has gone, but I got through some of the Dream Cream by Lush. There's like some still in there, but I am not going to touch that because it looks like a big booger. It's, it looks disgusting. Um, I can't remember what this actually does, but yeah, I got through this. It smells quite floral. I think it was like supposed to be like a tightening cream. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, I'm going to keep my pots because, you know, you trade in your pots to get free stuff from Lush. Little trick. I got through a Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life uh, scrub. Really good, really travel friendly. I love this across like my entire body just to give me a... And nice little scrub down, I really like this, I really like the scent. I also got through a Lush Original Pink Body Spray. I just chucked this in my bag most days for work and just kind of like sprayed it about. There's a like tiny little bit left, but it's starting to smell a bit like alcoholy, you know, when it like starts to go off a little bit. So I've made the uh, firm choice to throw this away now. Although this is a sample, I said I wouldn't mention samples because I've been trying to excessively get through them. Um, I thought I'd mention this one because it's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Now, I don't know if anyone's actually got the full size of this, but I've been trying this like on and off through like six months of using it and it looks tiny, but you actually get through it very slowly because you don't need a lot. I don't actually think it does anything. I don't think it does anything. And I looked up online to see like what their claims were. And as far as I could see, there were no claims. They were like, it claimed to do nothing. So I was really confused by that. But um, yeah, I got through one of these. It felt quite nice on the skin, but I couldn't really see a noticeable difference. So um, I would not, I'd not advise buying this. I got through a Dove Advanced Hair Series Pure Care Dry Oil Conditioner. Um, I've got the little shampoo sample-y thing, miniature, in my bathroom at the moment. Really nice. Um, probably wouldn't go for again, just because, I don't know, I didn't really feel like my hair loved it that much. Um, 
but it was good for like my dry ends for the short period of time that I used it for so yeah again really nice I got through the Elmis or Elme, I don't know quite how you say it, um, Night Cream Advanced Skincare. Really liked this, really kind of like my skin soaked it in, really enjoyed it and it didn't give me that sort of sticky sort of um, surface to my skin in the morning. Like I do find some creams can give you that like sticky tacky skin feel in the morning and I don't really like that. This one properly soaked into my skin. Um, and it kind of just, it revitalised my skin for the morning and gave me a nice smooth canvas to put my makeup on in the morning. So I really liked this and I might consider repurchasing it, like the actual big bottle, because I really enjoyed this. Another thing I really enjoyed, and I definitely will be repurchasing this as soon as I've got through most of like my moisturisers and stuff. I don't want to purchase anything until I've got through most of them. Um, but this is the Nip and Fab Soften Kale Fix Moisturiser. It smells like a bloody, like... <sighs> I don't know, like a vegetarian like smoothie boost or something. It smells weird, it smells like vegetables, but it made my skin feel really great and it gave me like a nice perk up and I don't know, it just made my skin feel really great. It looked great. I will be repurchasing this, but yeah, really liked this one. Again, I don't really know where my lids are going. Like I've got two things here. I don't know where the other half of them's gone, but this is the Scrub em and Leave em Body Buff by Soap and Glory. I think it's, yeah, it's the same one. This is really strange. Okay, this is the same product, but two different sizes. <laughs> um, I had the travel one. Again, like I said, I get through the travel ones really quickly because I do take it with me when I go places and use them. Um, and then I got through this one. It's kind of like a pink, salty, beady scrub. Love this, but I think, and I'm kind of suspicious, that the beads are plastic, so I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this again. Again, I got through way more of these than I've kept. I think it was three packets of these and two of these. These are the Primark Round Cosmetic Pads 100% Cotton uh, Cleansing Pads. They're just like cotton pads. And these are the Johnson's Baby Cotton Pads. I had about three or four packets of these. These are a pound. Love these, they're so gentle on my face. They're kind of like, don't get cottony. Like, it, the cotton doesn't rip off, which I really appreciate. Love these for my face in general. Um, and I use these for like my nail polish removal stuff. I just like small nail polish pads for that. So yeah, got the rows of cotton pads. Um, I've got one of the Archery Brow Tint Precision Shaping Pencils. Um, I like this one. It's like, oh no, I've still got a little bit left. <gasps> I've still got loads of this left. Why is this in here? Okay, for some reason I've got loads of this left. Um, like literally the whole tube. I don't know if you can see that. Like. I don't know why, why is this back in here? Um, but the other end is like a felt tip, which is probably why I got rid of it because it's like running out really badly. Um, this is really nice, but like I probably wouldn't repurchase it again because the felt tippy end is a little bit of a gimmick. Like I thought I could draw hairs in and it kind of just looks like you've got a felt tip biro and just like drawing hairs in, if you know what I mean? So yeah, there's kind of better products out there. I'm in love with my Sport FX one at the moment, so as soon as I use this up, it's going in the bin. And the last product of the day is a nice boring one. This is the Lee Stratford Poker Straight Flat Iron Protection Shine Mist. Um, I don't really straighten my hair that often, like maybe at all to be honest. So the fact that I've got through this in six months kind of says it all. I don't like to put too much heat on my hair. Only if I'm like going out for a long evening will I ever straighten my hair or curl it. Um, this is a really nice like straightening mist. It smells really nice. Did the job, nice and small big thumbs up like this but I have so many that I probably won't repurchase it again because I need to get through them first. There is one more product, there is one more product and I didn't see it, it's a see-through top so I didn't see this one. Um, this is from Lush and this was the Sweetie Pie like jelly I think and it just like smells of black currant and I freaking love it. Um, it was like the jelly sort of bath gel that you like break up and then kind of put through your hands. It smells really really good but it was really hard to use. Like I just felt like it kept slipping out my hands. I couldn't break it down. I couldn't make it soapy. So it smelt nice, but um, it, it wasn't that great and I probably wouldn't repurchase it again. Okay, so I have got to the end of all my products. I feel like I have been doing this for a while now. I have tried to rattle through them as fast as possible because there were quite a few of them. I thought I'd do this every six months because I don't really get through a lot of products all the time. Like I do see other people do these videos and they're like, oh, here's my empties like every month. And I'm like, girl, I don't get through that, like, that much stuff. I have so much stuff all on the go at once that I never really get through products consecutively, like one after the other. So 
yeah I feel like I want to try and do this like once or twice a year just to kind of show you products in general that I get through and that I really enjoy throughout the year. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. I think I've included everything. So please give me a massive thumbs up if you have enjoyed this or put in the comments below if you think I should do this slightly differently. Um, or put in the comments below as well if you got through loads of products this year and you feel like certain products have stood out for you. Please tell me because I'd really like to try them. I'm always like wanting to try new products so Put that down below if you've got a product in mind. And yeah, I hope you've really enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I have got one uh, product somewhere that get, uh, I'd recommend it if, I'd recommend, go get it if you are in the market for a mark. I have so much, I don't even know how this is all gonna fit in the bin. I'm literally, the bin guy's gonna think I'm crazy. I'm gonna think I've had like 50 showers in the space of a week. Oh my God.